The latest seat on investment banking sector report indicates that the banking sector's balance sheet grew by 6.4% from 3.37 trillion in March 2015 to 3.6 trillion three months later. The growth was driven by improved service delivery through alternative use of banking channels such as mobile phones, internet and agency banking, as well as branch network expansion, not only in Kenya but East Africa as well. The aim of what banks want to do is that they are coming up with initiatives of delivering their services more efficiently and more comfortably to their, mem to, to their customers. We saw KCB launching a banking partnership with Safaricom and this is mainly to mobilize deposit and also to have new loans to their customers. Again, we've seen a success story between Safaricom and CBA that was called Insuring, which has again enabled CBA to continue servicing their clients more efficiently and again more conveniently. Equity Bank was ranked top in return on capital, efficiency and revenue diversification, especially after the rollout of Equitel and the planned acquisition of Pro Credit Bank in Congo. Kenyan banks especially spreading even outside East Africa so that they can even go outside Kenya, so that they can even go to other markets that still have attractive spread in terms of what they are getting in terms of cost of fund and what they are earning from whatever they are loaning outside their customers. Stanchat was second ranking high in return on capital and deposit mobilization despite being weighed down by low revenue diversification. Barclays Bank had the highest net interest margin attributable to more expensive loans. National Bank of Kenya was the second most inefficiency bank in terms of cost containment. The report says National Bank of Kenya has the lowest quality of assets in their loan portfolio. Saiton Investment, however, says there are concerns as to whether banks will be able to maintain their profitability margins with the increase of central bank rate to 11.5%. Even though the KBRR was introduced as a benchmark reference rate where the, 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 the loan is supposed to be, the pricing rate is supposed to start from, but you've seen banks being able again to protect that so that they ensure that they still continue to an attractive spread even if the interest rates are that high. Caroline Jenga for News Hour Business.